Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about things that I would love to add to my wardrobe this summer. So I'm not gonna base myself as much in trends. It's just like a very wide and wild wish list. It's like all the things that I would like to buy, but we're gonna talk about all of them. So if you know me and you follow me, you know that I don't really follow as many trends. I tend to stick with things that I like and that I know, but I do love summer. So I'm just gonna talk about them in case you were needing some inspiration of things that you wanted to add. And the first one is for sure the Chanel sling bags and I'm also thinking about the ballerinas but the sling bags specifically I'm not a high heel person I cannot stand high heels so I do love the fact that the sling bags have the chunky heel I've always liked them I've always wanted them but I never felt like I had the lifestyle where I was realistically going to put them to use a lot now that I do I do feel like I would use them a lot but I can never find them in my size so I've gone through some personal shoppers still no luck I am 35 so it's very hard to get them I want the classic beige and black Ones. It would be super easy to pair them with a pair of pants, shorts, a shirt, maybe even a sweater when it's still a little bit chilly. They are such a classic pair of shoes that I think that you cannot really go wrong with them. I do really want them. I just haven't found them. Every time that I go to my Chanel store, I'm like, oh, do you happen to have any sling bags size 35 or 5 US? And they're like, yeah, no. I've also thought about adding the ballerinas because those they have and they have a very wide range of shades and colors and I know that they're coming back in style. However, I do feel feel like I already look quite young. I don't know if the ballerinas are gonna work against me in that sense because they are, I, I'm not gonna say childish shoes, but they're like very feminine and very cute shoes. And I always feel like I need to run away from those types of things to look my age and look a little more mature and be taken seriously. So I like them. If I were to get them, I don't really know if I would wear them that much. And I also don't know how comfortable they are for walking long distances. The slingbacks wouldn't be for walking a lot. They would be mainly if I'm gonna to go to this or to that but for walking the entire day definitely not i do not know if the ballerinas would be good for that another pair of shoes that i've been trying to find and since they became trendy they're so hard to find are Laura piana loafers i i tried to buy them from farfetch sold out in minutes they never have my size i went to the physical store here in barcelona they also don't have them it's just so hard to find them now that they're such a popular brand i don't even think that they're that special i like them because they're comfortable they are very simple they could pair very well with pretty much any outfit so I'm possibly gonna try another brand that is not Laura Piana but with a very similar look and I'm gonna show you a picture specifically the ones that I wanted especially now that I want to stop using white sneakers every single day that's what I've been considering but they're sold out everywhere talking about white sneakers I've been meaning to retire my Chanel sneakers they are very worn off I've had them for I would say like three four years of almost daily use and they need a break I cannot find them again they're not current season so I thought about getting the Celine low top sneakers. I've seen them in the store. They seem very comfortable. They are very simple. I've gone to so many stores trying to find white sneakers, but they're always sold out in my size. I've lost the fear of using long dresses as a short person. So I actually want to get a long dress for the summer. You know, something really nice and comfortable to wear. I'm obsessed with this Colleen dress. It's so beautiful. I love the color. I think that color complements me quite well. So I do really like it and I've been meaning to get it. The price point is quite high so it's just there on the wish list in case it ever gets a discount but I think that it would be really beautiful okay I do have a few bags on the list I don't think that I'm gonna get them but I do feel like they would be perfect for summer so they're worth mentioning and they are for sure on my wish list so the Loewe flamenco tote is so beautiful like the leather looks so buttery so comfortable and it's a tote I definitely need a tote that is not my Chanel Deville I love my Chanel Deville for so many things but at this point it's basically the only bag that I use when I need to go somewhere that I have to carry my laptop or my iPad to work or anything so I've been trying to find another option that is a little bit more subtle that is possibly leather that it just doesn't have like a lot of logos so I can feel a bit more comfortable around the city plus for me the Chanel Deville has a little bit of a beach look so the flamenco tote for me seems to be a very good option I really like the Celine one but it's never available it's super sold out and it does have the big logo I feel like the Loewe one very understated beautiful I'm yet to try it in person to see the actual quality of the leather but so far I've read that it's like such a great bag so I think that it's actually a very nice option for me with this one I'm obsessed with the Bottega sardine bag I don't think that I'm gonna get it because I just know that that handle is not practical at all but when I saw that they had the yellow one it's so beautiful like the yellow one is beautiful I can definitely see the yellow one to be a very beautiful summer bag and with the gold details it just complements the bag very very well if I were to go for the sardine bag I would 100% go 
for the smallest size because I've seen the tote I just don't understand how that would work with the handle it just seems to be too uncomfortable so for sure I cannot go for the biggest size but the mini one I think yeah for sure I have definitely changed my mind when it comes to Bottega because I didn't used to like them now I kind of do and I've tried the quality of the bags and they are amazing so I do feel like it's worth it I just don't know if this statement handle is gonna last enough like right now they're very trendy there's this green on van bag that I also think that it's so beautiful again with the statement top handle I just think like I would need to go for something a little bit more minimalistic for me to be able to actually put it on outfits like I don't know what's wrong with me but I have like so many beautiful Zimmerman dresses like I got a red one with little sailboats I never want to take it outside because I feel like it catches like attention and I don't, know, I don't feel comfortable if I have a bright blue bag same thing happens to me like I always want to be a little bit more low-key not calling that much attention and I've seen so many stunning and different bags lately I just feel like I always need to go a little more simple that blends very well with almost every single outfit so talking about Lanvin there's this green dress so my rehearsal dinner and engagement dress is from Lanvin I'm gonna have to tailor it because it's a little bit too long for me this happens often but they have this beautiful green one that it's not the same because it doesn't have the cape so it's a little bit more casual the green pattern and the color is so beautiful that I really want to get that dress I don't really have the chance to try it on but my best guess is that it's gonna be a little bit long for me so I already know that I'm gonna have to tailor it if I get it that's what's holding me back a little bit but I do feel like this dress could be a very beautiful not formal but a little bit like an extra step than your regular summer beach dress and I also found this I'm looking at them right here in my computer Celine has this fluid shorts in silk twill like the set with the shirt and the shorts is beautiful definitely the type of thing that I use constantly I am very basic I wear the same thing over and over again and I have my striped shirts with linen shorts so I basically wear linen most of the summer I think this would look beautiful I really like the set I'm gonna link it in the description box down below in case anyone is interested I have something quite similar from Totem but I think that it was last season so they don't have it again this one is a little bit more intricate and fun so I'm definitely considering visiting the store and trying it on maybe I do like it enough to pull the trigger because this is something that I do feel like I would get the wear out of it since you can match the shirt with other shorts and vice versa this Celine jacket has been haunting me I really like it I just don't know if the price point is worth it I've never owned any ready-to-wear pieces from Celine so I would have to go try it out and think about it because this is an investment piece this is something that I would possibly have in my closet for so many years and I want to be sure that the one that I want is with stripes because they do have the classic black the white they have ivory beige and a lot of options it's very good for spring summer but it's also a very transitional piece like from really cold to just having that with maybe a pair of shorts and a shirt underneath so yes I'm considering it I just don't really know if I want to go for pattern or just black white I do need to think about that same happens to me with Chanel tweed jackets or coats there's never like the perfect one that I'm like yes this is it this is the one that I want to wear possibly for the rest of my life because that's how I usually see these pieces they're like if I'm going to get them is because I plan to keep them for the rest of my life and be able to implement them in outfits like that's my approach usually to high fashion not really falling for anything too loud or too trendy because I know that I can get sick of it quite fast that's the reason why I always get French nails it's not because I think that's what looks best it's because it looks like clean and I never get tired of it every time that I do something different like green or blue I just go back to French the next time so yeah I've been absolutely loving Celine I would get pretty much anything that they put out ready to wear bags but I do want to be very conscious about what I add because I want to make sure that there are pieces that stay in my closet for many many years I do want to add some things for sure that they're gonna be possibly for the wedding so I am a little bit unsure about the shoes yet but I want to get some thick heels to be able to walk on grass and then I'm able to stand up on them for quite a long period of time so I'm looking for different bridal weekend type of outfits like you know white cute dresses so I'm in the hunt for that that I want to add things that I can realistically use later on in life and not only for that weekend except the wedding dress of course the wedding dress is gonna be like the wedding dress and that's pretty much it but for the shoes and the dresses that I want to use for the wedding weekend definitely want something that can be reused so I think for now this is what I want to add I would really like to know what you guys have been really liking thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching I'm gonna leave YouTube videos right here in case you want to check them out. Thank you and see you on the next time. Bye.